make of them what you will. But what I will tell you is, this is going to be a light the blue touch paper and stand well back as Thomas Narkoon takes on the defending KS. You're out, Steve. He's looking really solid on the feet. And yes, Narkoon is tired and he's more open and available to being hit, but DeFries is just putting on an awesome performance. And he's in no hurry, DeFries. We're in the fourth round, one more to go in this championship bout. The heavyweight super fight, champion versus champion, the KSW 47 is provided here tonight. Narkoon showing heart over and above the call of duty. And uh, DeFries in no hurry, chipping away like molasses in winter, as I said. Narkoon looks like he's trying to recoup some energy here. He really needs to get something going. You know, we know Narkoon's capable of a high kick. We know Narkoon can, you know, work the low kick. But he's not bringing any of that to play here. And, you know, the crowd getting impatient. But nobody wants to rush. I think that was a big scare for DeFries, that guillotine. He can see what uh, Narkoon is capable of doing if DeFries tries to rush it. So, you know, he's in no hurry. He's probably a good three rounds up at this stage. But Narkoon, you know, playing very, very well into the hands of our catchphrase for 47. And that is it ain't over till it's over. DeFries may be making a mistake by allowing Narkoon back into this. Much like the start of the last round, we're seeing energy management from both guys. They're both testing each other, trying to open something up. Phil never really seems to be in a hurry, but Narcoon is obviously looking for that home run. Well, we saw what happened earlier on this evening when Alexander Illich from nowhere produced magic to put away Janikowski from what seemed an impossible and irreversible position in the bout. And uh, it's all about survival now for Thomas Narkun. What Phil is looking for here is what we saw in the last few rounds. He's gonna box him into the cage and then take him down or get to the clinch. But he's in no hurry to do it either. Yeah, and the reason he's in no hurry to do it is because De Vries has thrown everything that he's got. And that is very disconcerting when you can't put away an opponent after throwing those kind of shots. You know, he's a big hitter, De Vries, and he's hurt Narkoon, but he can't put Narkoon away. And Narkoon at the end of that second round pulled that guillotine from nowhere. And De Vries is worthy of knowing that. He's been a good champion for KSW De Vries. And uh, Narku, well, he needs a little bit of MMA sat-nav to get him out of this de sac, baby. That right hand is just landing consistently. And the way that Phil sets it up is just awesome because he does it off kick counters or catches. He does it off parry. And he uses his footwork. Or it goes low to the midsection. Very competent boxing for MMA. Right, we've just over a minute left in this fourth round. Narkoon has recharged the battery. We're starting to see some more work. If he can keep in the upright till the end of this round and doesn't have to use energy to keep DeFries off. In the fifth round, we could see a game changer. We could see something that really makes a difference where the momentum is changed here. Narkoon, listen, you know, he's nobody's fault. He's a KSW light heavyweight champion. And DeFries know something is about to happen. So do we. We kind of feel that there's something in the air tonight. Boom, 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 boom. Let's hope that's the case. There it goes. Nice takedown attempt. 30 seconds and Narkoon goes for it. With a right hand for his efforts. But Phil DeFries is in cruise control right now. Oh, looking to pull guard. Narkoon thinking about the arm and choke, but that's not going to work. He wasn't nearly deep enough. Saves the risky business for the 10-second clapper and 
Looks like we'll see a fifth and final round. Stinging kicks. Thomas Marcuda's rope and don't feel the freeze. Is this a rumble in the jungle? Repeat. The freeze in trouble. Take shots here. Left hand, right hand. Thomas Marcuda driving forward, throwing everything at the freeze. The freeze is in trouble. Marcuda's got to stay busy here. He's got to work those looping shots and get away from the wire. If Phil puts him down. Oh, this is bad. This is not what he wanted. Those were good shots. Phil was reaching blindly for the clinch. He got the takedown. Well, he opened up the account with one hell of a down payment in the fifth round here. That was a statement from Narcoon. Oh, KSW 47 has been all about. It ain't over till it's over. We got three minutes left in the fifth and final round in this championship bout, and its hells are popping. Chris, round and round it goes. Where it stops, no one knows. Do you know what? Anything can happen. And De Vries, well, he's gone back to what he does, but De Vries has had a real, real upset here. DeFries was able to get him down just through pure grit and heart. I mean, he was hurt. Or if not badly hurt, certainly affected by those short shots by Narcoon. But he just ran through him and got that takedown. But Narcoon's got enough skill to do something here. Look at the leg go up. Narcoon's not over yet. This is great, great play here off his back, Narcoon. And it's just a reminder to DeFries. Hey, listen. Come into my parlor, said the spider to the fly. He's got the arm. He's got the legs up. But DeFries has broken through. Was good. He went for the spinning arm lock twice, but twice Phil DeFries was able to protect the fall from. First time he framed up really, really, really good and made sure the elbow was outside the legs. The other time he made sure he limp armed and dragged it so that Nakun wasn't deep enough. The thing is, when you come to be the champion, you've got to be the champion. And Nakun can't get away with anything less than an emphatic win here tonight against DeFries, even though the performance has been absolutely unbelievable. The crowd right behind. Thomas Narcoon here tonight, and we've got under two minutes left in the fifth round. This has got to be just one, one of the most sensational KSW outings ever. Still DeFries comes, still DeFries lands the shots, and still Narcoon defends, and still Narcoon replies, and still Narcoon capable of doing something here. Some hit movement for Narcoon. He's going to go for something here. It's the last 90 seconds of his chance to become a two-divisional champion. Well, it's like a CSI crime scene out there. Chalk outlines. You name it. Naku in a world of pain. You've got to except that there's got to be some kind of internal injury going on for Naku. You cannot take those kind of body shots. And still, Naku has something left. Oh, look for the upkick. Wouldn't be the first time that he's finished a fight courtesy of an upkick. It's a big open guard. De Vries doesn't want to go in there. Half a minute left. De Vries just has to ride this out. What a performance from both guys. It's been a gutsy, gutsy performance from both guys. Well, this could be an opportunity, but is it too much, too little, too late? Can Narkun do something here? I mean, just surviving is enough, really. There goes 10 seconds, and there goes the championship strap, as far as Narkun is concerned. De Vries has retained it and will still be the KSW 47. An upset tonight. We just want to remind you and give you the heads up that KSW 48 is from Lublin on April the 27th. I'm sure we're going to have a few words with Phil the an Irish win and we've got an English win. Still, the KSW heavyweight champion it's Phil de Vries, well, the champion of the people, our so performance is always going to be Thomas Narku. And Narcoon. still, KSW heavyweight champion of the world.